five, a teenager crashed into a local pharmacy with her parents in the car, and police say she didn't have a license or a permit. So why was she driving in the first place? Ross Gadotti got some answers. Smithfield Pharmacy has had more than its share of problems over the last couple of weeks. Part of its roof got blown off during the windstorm we had a while back, and now they're dealing with a major cleanup after a young woman who didn't have a license nor permit plowed a pickup truck into the side of the building. The Smithfield Pharmacy building in Fayette County has been around since before the Civil War. It has stood the test of time. Today, however, it looks like it took a direct hit from a cannon used during the war between the states. Suddenly heard the crash and the boom, looked up and I realized it was a vehicle running into the, into the building. The business security cameras capturing the moment of impact inside and out. Initially, I thought, oh my gosh, you know, the whole building's going to go. James Lynn says the building's 19th century quality construction kept that from happening. When the dust cleared, he got a look at the people in the truck. It was a father as a passenger allowing his teenage daughter to drive for whatever reason. We were told she doesn't have license or even permit. While they're not releasing any names of those involved, state police confirmed the driver's license status and age. And they were just kind of dazed, dazed a little bit. Uh, they didn't really speak directly to me. The father and the daughter headed to the hospital for observation. We all have bad things happen in our life and it could always be worse. State police say the 16 year old as well as her father face numerous traffic citations in Smithfield. Fayette County, Roscadotti, 